Hi guys, good afternoon. I wanted to make this video as a support uh, for my previous reel showing my son doing some skip counting work. And I hope that you guys find this video helpful, but more importantly, easy to understand um, in your own um, journey of helping your child um, or support your child's learning at home. Right, so first let me start by saying that there are four um, activities arranged or organized on the mats right now and uh, the first one is the bead chain over there the montessori bead chain and at this point i want to say that i first introduced bead chains to my son last year when he was four and the main aim for doing that was not to introduce skip counting but to help him start um, developing an understanding of conservation and reversibility because those these are two very very important concepts in mathematics that children um, is helpful uh, that is, is very helpful for children to understand so let me break it down so conservation simply means the logical ability to um, decipher or determine that a quantity remains the same um, irrespective of the changes to its arrangement and so at that point we did for the bead chains of 10 and the reason was that 10 is actually the first like lump group that children encounter in their journey into counting when they learn one counting from one to 10. So it's a very familiar and user-friendly place to start. So we did the bead chains of 10 uh, into hundreds and by conservation, it just means that a group of hundreds or uh, 100 is the same thing as 10 pieces of tens. And then for reversibility, it means that a quantity or something can be changed to return to its original state. Okay, so for instance, uh, like I said, 10, a group of 100 can be changed into 10 tens, and 10 tens can be changed into 100, which is what we do when we introduce this material. Um, this is a uh, threes. So when we do this, we can change this to be nine. And this is where they get to compare it with this bead bar of nine. And at the same time, we can change it back to be groups of three. So that there is the principle of conservation and reversibility, which we first introduced with the, with the uh, bead chain of 10. And we did some practice work with that up to the point that I felt, yeah, I think he's beginning to get a good understanding of this. So that was our starting point. Now, fast forward up to a few weeks ago when we started this entire work of skip counting. So these are the sequence of us. So like I said earlier, we have four activities here. So the first ones are the big chains, which I've just arranged here to, for you to see what it will look like. Now, after the big chains, we'll move to the puzzle pictures, okay? Now, these puzzle pictures, you can get on my Etsy shop as well as my website. And with these puzzle pictures, I actually um, <laughs> intend to kill three birds. By killing, I mean like figuratively speaking, okay? Not actual killing. Don't come for me. <laughs> Three birds with one stone. Now, let me explain. So, obviously, this is a puzzle. So, it, it's it's um, stimulating logical reasoning um, uh, to figure the, the puzzle and put it all together. So, that's one. Secondly, we're doing the skip count as well. So, it's supporting the skip count work we're doing from the previous um, activity there. And then third, I haven't shared this yet, but we have started early grammar work. And we're working through nouns and I have explained and he's known that uh, nouns are naming words, naming words, naming words. Okay. I keep emphasizing that naming words, anything that you can name is a noun. So to um, uh, reemphasize that and um, uh, extend that, I uh, selected the animals of Africa because I have rarely come across a child who doesn't find the exploration of animals friendly. And my son... Uh, is one of those kids who like animals so i said i opted to use animals of africa you can find this on my etsy i currently have animals of africa that's the collective noun for animals of africa and animals of europe i shall be uploading for the entire the other the rest of the continents um, in the future so as you can see we've got a pride of lions a herd of elephants a float of crocodiles a crash of rhinoceros and a committee of vultures so we've got this from one up to ten okay so these are the three things and obviously he likes this arrangement so he actually enjoys doing this sequence here a lot now this is the second place now the third place we come to is the hundred board um skip count work this one oh my goodness i love this work because it can be a good big work for my son but he never stops until he finishes so the idea of this is to skip count with the marbles 
for the numbers not in focus and then use the chip for the number in focus and as you can see i've organized this in group of in groups of 20 which again is skip count of 20 or multiples of 20 so again emphasizing the work that we're doing here so let's just say let's imagine he's doing skip count work skip count of let's say three so he with the marbles he will do one two and then take the chip no, from here the chip for three and then again marble four five six now i have also helped him to um work um master how to work with these containers here so whenever he's working he chooses the first one first and selects only the the multiples of the particular number he's working through from this um container once he's finished with that he moves to the next set 20 to 40. so that way it keeps his work organized and just helps his logical reasoning and processing so that's an idea you can try you know organizing um your number counters and this by the way is uh, the hundred board from treasures from John and jennifer yeah so that's the third place we get to and then the last sequence for this entire skip count work is some abstract work so as you can see in original montessori fashion we start from concrete 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 abstract okay now this is where the culmination of all of this knowledge comes in because by the time he's writing in this book we don't have any of these materials the work you see him do in the real he was supposed to just do <laughs> the first one which is the um beat chains and then he went and brought the hundred board and then he brought the uh, strips and while he was at it i was like okay would you like to write it in the book <laughs> you know so he actually went through the entire sequence um the full sequence uh, of the activities he, he, instead of just one at a time which i thought was great so by this point he's now beginning to write so obviously this one was very easy to do because he's done this one a lot of times before this is skip count by one he hasn't done skip count by two yet this is the one he did in the real he went through all of this big work guys and then he started writing here and then he paused and told me he was hungry and wanted to have lunch so as you can see that's where he stopped he will come back to it later this is skip count of four which is done at another time this is skip count of five which is already done another, at another time and i must say when it comes to writing for some reason my son prefers to use this red um, pencil which i yeah he likes it i don't but and when you try to ask him would you like to use another color you say well there are other colors but it's my choice um, i swear to god that's what he says it's my choice i'm like okay it's your choice right <laughs> so yes there you have it guys this is uh these are the activities that have been uh, i've um, prepared and presented to help my son work through and understand and consolidate his understanding of um skip counting and multiples and oh just to say this entire work here is a perfect segue into multiplication which we shall be going to sometime next week i can't wait to share that one but obviously i'm going to share the work we've been doing with this one sometime sometime god help me <laughs> so i hope this has been helpful and at least giving you an idea that you can try i'm very sure a lot of people do different methods to achieve the same goal and that's all good but this is one method it works for us and i hope it's easy for you to see how we've been working through and how we're getting to our results thank you for watching and i shall see you again possibly in another video